All right, what's up, guys? Ninja Deathstrike here, along with my co-hosts. Uh. <laughs> Agritech. Agritech. <laughs> How and about if I say Agritech and then you say Robotnik is sexy? Well, now you just said both. Yeah, so. but I mean, like, in the future. <laughs> that's not confusing at all. I know, right? Actually, that would be really confusing. Yeah, we got new subscribers. Right. You don't sound like you sounded when you introduced yourself. We had complex surgeries. And this is a, a great lead-off to today's show, because we're probably just going to wander about a lot. Um, That's... Today's, today's show, we're going to be talking about the metagame, 6th gen metagame, how it looks right, right now, where we think it's going to go. And uh, we don't really have a script or any bullet points to go by, so we're just gonna okay. gonna talk about it and see where it goes. Bullet point one: competitive Pokemon. I guess <laughs> yeah. The best place to start is talking about who we're using currently, right now. Yeah. Do you want to go first, Andy? Uh, sure, I'll go first. Um, I've uploaded quite a few X and Y battles. He has. And most of them involve the same guys. Um, I've been using Choice Scarf Magnazone a lot. I think he's going to be really good because he can't be paralyzed ever because he's an electric type. Um, <coughs> I'm not sure if he can be paralyzed in any way. Maybe Body Slam can paralyze him, but like Thunder Wave or Electric Attacks cannot paralyze him. Um, Stun Spore would do it. I don't know if it does. I think I'm, it's I'm like, actually yeah, not I think sure. It's like fire types immunity to burn. It like might never type happen. Can't get like burned by scald. I'm pretty sure electric type can't be paralyzed. I think that was the change. I might be wrong. I still think it would be by synchronize. So in the comments, tell mm -hmm. me if electric types can be paralyzed by stun spores and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. But so far, it's been good. Um, he also checks the crap out of Klefki. Yep. Unless you get unlucky. Like, Jeez. <laughs> well, I've been really lucky, because uh, all the Klefkis I've run into don't have uh, Swagger. So I'm like, I'll just T-bolt you three times, and we're we're done here. Yeah. And no more Klefki, because the magnet pull. The, the Swagger version is definitely the worst to deal with, because it just... It can flat-out kill its... Checks. Guess which one's on my team. Yeah, I'm using that one too. <laughs> I haven't used it yet. It's even mostly worse just than doubles. I just refuse to use it. I use it because... I know you use it in every battle. <laughs> <laughs> and then it you're just like, handles yep. everything. It's like, oh, my team's not prepared to deal with this. Good thing Klefki's just going to be a dick and kill it. But let's, <laughs> let's just address that... Um, that there have been so many battles on YouTube right now where Clef Key just wipes out half the team by itself. Yeah, uh, I, I'm fully in support of it going Uber or just getting flat out banned. I don't think it'll be banned, but it's going to be OU. I mean, there are definitely checks to it. Not, um, there, but it, there it has the potential to just, to just beat its checks. You kind of are forced to uh, carry a lumberry, I guess, in some yeah, like, cases. It takes so much to play around it, and it just makes it's not it's not inducive to a healthy metagame. The score checks it pretty well too, unless it gets uh, swagger. swagger. <laughs> not if you taunt. Priority swagger. Yeah, but if swagger you, also if you has do it low on the switch. I don't know. He might. It could. It, I'm not saying that he always beats his checks. I'm just saying it has yep. the potential to just beat its checks if you if it does if it gets lucky. Like if you there is no it doesn't have a counter. If you're immune to paralysis, then you have a much higher chance of beating Klefki. Yeah. Swagger fusion or para fusion with swagger on top is is just and then dead. payback on top of that or not payback uh, foul, foul play. play. Yeah, foul play is insane. It benefits from the swagger. It's dumb. Like it, it, it needs to get banned just because it's not fun. I, I don't it's, think it will get banned, but maybe. It's I mean, not something that Smogon usually bans, but 
I don't know. I think that they need to make exceptions in the case of things that just don't make the game fun to play. And Klefki I'm, doesn't make the game fun to play. I'm pretty like, sure... Rachi last gen, I think. <laughs> Makes the game fun to play for me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Rachi can be dealt with, especially now, because it's still... Well, now it's different. The it, last it, it gains two weaknesses. I'm not talking it's... about now, though. I was. Well, yeah, I know. Red. You're talking about black just... and white era. Yeah. Mm. It, it had the same problem. It just it had checks, but it had potential to just beat its checks. Yeah, I used Calm Mind in Drizzle, and what did I use? Pe- I, it was basically kind of a pseudo clef key thing uh, when I did use it before. I I used Thunder Wave, or I had like a whole team of uh, Pokemon that knew paralysis inducing moves, and yeah. then I just on mind like six times. <laughs> yeah. And then there was like nothing. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I think it. I'd be I'd fully support a ban, but I'm also still going to use it while it's legal. <laughs> hey, I think. <laughs> The game is so so new right now. I think people are going to find new ways to beat it. Plus, the uh, yeah. December hasn't even here, so yeah, it's. But I mean, there's always there's a certain types of things that check it, but I don't think I don't think there's a counter for it. Can you think of anything that that think beats it? Magnezone is probably the closest counter. I've, I've killed Magnezones with it. You just swagger, and then you get up sub, and that's it. I mean, could you, um... Crap, I just had an idea, and then it's gone. Um, I think... Sableye can can learn taunt, right? Mm Mm-hmm. So then, just prankster uh, taunt it. Yeah, Yeah, prankster is probably one of the better... um, Well, then, I mean, Foul play is going to do quite a bit of damage to Sableye, wouldn't it? How so? I don't know. Sableye doesn't have a lot of... Yeah, but he doesn't have very much attack. Yeah. Sableye could probably deal with it decently. But then, even I mean, like, taunting it is... It's a... It doesn't kill it. You know, it's a... Then you can use your prankster crap on it. (laughs) Yeah, there's the psychic type that gets prankster, and it's balls fast, so it's kind of a check. uh, Except for foul play. It's the Except same reason that Espeon doesn't check it. It two sh- it two hit KOs Espeon without a even without a attack boost. Mm. Well, I, uh, I mean, I'm also, I'm sure there are some things that handle it, but I don't think there's enough, and I think it kind of warps the way you have to build a team. <laughs> well, I think warping uh, the way you think is pretty much everything uh, about X and Y. So, it's just, just everything is so different now. Um, I was also wanted to bring up that Talon Flame sweeps are the other fifty yeah. percent of these yeah, videos. God. That's stupid. It's like, I was so happy. Like I, I told you guys, he was going to be good. I brought in a Zoomer and I was like, "Well, Aqua Jet won't go first. Yeah, so won't go I was first. like, "I'll just waterfall." So, and I took a Brave Bird, like. I was, you yeah. know, I was low yellow. Zumeral can take one, But yeah. I took it, and then I just killed it right It can off. take one. That's yeah. the important part. <laughs> That's, this is my uh, plan, uh, if I take to, uh, stick to the um, pseudo Trick Room team, is to get Trick Room up, and then a Zumeral will Aqua Jet first, because of Trick Room. <laughs> but I mean... It still might the, not kill. As soon as, as soon as you're able to import guys, Talonflame's going to... Yeah, away. Talonflame. His, just he's not, going there's to no come. good stealth rock users right now, so he pretty much has free reign. Carbank. Carbank's, Carbank's terrible. Carbank's he's all right. good. I have never had it do anything against me except die. It is Trick Room stealth rocks. Uh, You'd be good on a Trick Room team. Something else and okay, explosion. It's got 50 base attack. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. Explosion's gonna it do nothing. Matter. Yes, it it's does. All, Explosion is, is not nearly as strong as it used to be. Well, no, but it gives you the free switch. That's what matters. It gives yeah. you a free switch while the trick room is up. Um, but I don't, I don't know I if I would... I think ex- Carbine is a, good, is a decent suicide lead. It's, it's the brother of Shuckle, and Shuckle is basically the Pokemon with potential that everyone ignores, so I think it's kind of like that. 
Uh, Shuckle, I don't know. Shuckle just dies to everything, too. Shuckle gets sticky web now. That might give it some use. That's but, pretty cool. I mean, 20 HP. I really hope... Did you get uh, that? <laughs> Doesn't matter well, what your defenses are. No, it does. His defenses are high enough. He can basically take anything. I've used him before. Yeah, but, every, but... It, it can take one hit, but everything two shots it. That's the problem. Well, so... It, Last time I used it was an NU, and he was, like, yeah. invincible, so maybe that's because it was NU. NU. <laughs> I'm not saying Carbink is bad. I'm saying it's bad in OU. But, I mean, that's what I'm talking about right now. I'm sure it'll have a place in lower tiers, but it's I, I think, easy to kill in OU. I, th I think Soul Rock would be better, uh, but I don't know how to give it Stealth Rock. Um, uh, I might not be able to get it yet. I don't they know. might have to import from 4th gen, which is yeah. dumb, because I'm never going to do that. So I'll just have to use Carbink, because he gets Trick Room and Stealth Rock by whatever. He gets Stealth Rock by TM. Yeah. Or I've not been TM. using Tyranitar. He's the only good thing that gets it right now. Yeah, he pretty much I is. Uh, Tyranitar is really good. Um, <clears throat> uh, I'll say what else. Tyranitar <laughs> is it's good, too. Yeah, Tyranitar... Tyrantrum, I don't know. I wasn't. I used him a bit, and he had really. I, at least with me, I had a hard time getting him a free turn in order to get his rocks up. Like he has a hard time switching in on stuff. I used uh, Ferrothorn. I've been using Ferrothorn with Stealth Rock recently, and he uh, he's been doing well. Yeah, Ferrothorn's pretty he good usually dies but <laughs> yeah he he can't hurt anything anymore well power whip 120 base power that's pretty good yeah uh, it's just grass is not the best yeah, attacking grass. type and you i don't know about you but usually like is that the only attack you're running mhm mm so it's very easy to switch in on him yeah, I I think it's recommended to have Gyroball too, but I have Spikes and Stealth Rock because yeah. whatever. Can we just say that Gyroball has like the funniest animation in the universe? Yeah, where you spin around. <laughs> and then you spin the opponent around. Yeah. It's almost as good as Woodhammer. <laughs> oh, Woodhammer is terrible. <laughs> you, it, I used Woodhammer in my first X and Y battle, and Chespin just looks at the screen. He's like, hey, what's up? And then he turns he around. Turns, and then he turns <laughs> again. <laughs> Draco Meteor looks awesome, though. Yeah. Fury oh, Brave Bird. looks bad, too. Like, is, yeah. they just All the, most of the big attacks look really good. What was that one that... Uh, it was Power Whip, right, Nick? Yeah, where, where the screen goes like, out. black and then, yeah. green, and then like, everything's And then you, like, and really stab cool. him, like, a hundred times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I'll I'll go ahead and say what other Pokemon I was using because I yep. got off track. So I've been using Magnezone and Ferrothorn. Um, I've I've kicked out Absol because he isn't doing anything for me. Uh, That's funny because I I still like him quite a bit. I don't. He can't transform safely because everything in the game can kill him in one hit. <laughs> Who? Who are we talking about? Absol. Oh. You have to take a, a turn to trans to stay in and transform. Yeah, but if and you, I mean, most of the Megas, if you, I mean, if you the just thing, attacked. You can't send him in on something that's at full health. That is his problem. He won't, he won't kill anything from full health. Well, that's, I think the problem for me versus you is I am not using Klefki. If I had entry hazards, he would probably be a lot better. Yeah, Cause, well, Klefki like, doesn't have, <clears throat> not using any entry hazards on my Klefki. Oh, you're not? No. This is why I'm excited to use a Mega. Well, and how is your Mega Absol killing things? Because you need entry hazards have, for it to I have Stealth Rocks on Tyranitar. Oh, uh, is that all? Yeah, and then I just oh, yeah. don't. I don't bring him in I, until mid to late game when everything's taking some damage. Yeah, but like if you get Stealth Rocks and Spikes up, then he could kill stuff, like easily. But I, yeah. So he's being benched right now. I've uh, been using Azumarill because he's awesome. Azumarill is really good. I really like um, not using a choice fan because I can switch my moves 
even though I do less damage. I like two shot everything anyway, so it's like. Are you using life orb? No. Instead, what do you have? Uh, splash plate. <laughs> I use the it's, I mean, two of his moves are water anyhow, so. Yeah, it's kind of whatever. And then I've been trying assault vest just for funsies. Uh, it seems like it'd be decent, but you. It's decent, but it's not. You probably great. <laughs> miss the attack power. Yeah. I use a Wakanberry. Wakanberry would work. Is that the electric? Yeah, because like yeah. it helps me get rid of like, um, you know, threatening steel types that know, um, thunderbolt. Mm -hmm. Um. Or. I mean, pretty much anything. That, anything that doesn't that that um, off stabs yeah. Thunderbolt, That's I'll, it, I'll uh -huh. shrug it off like it was nothing. And yeah. then you'll kill them <laughs> with waterfall. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, it's a pretty good idea. Uh, um, what what else am I using? Oh, I finally used Gengar, Mega yeah. Gengar, because I don't care anymore. Is he? Uh, I heard he but was really possibly don't. getting banned. I've I've heard that, but. Uh, I heard that was on PO only, so... Okay, well, no one cares about... P PO makes their own they tiers. They their own things, like, yeah. They literally it's... make their own tiers, so... I've <laughs> used him, and I didn't find him. I don't see, like... I mean, he's good, yet, but I don't think he's ban-worthy by any He's easily one of the best megas. I think Kangaskhan yeah. is better. Kangaskhan is ridiculous. Like, he can just... Really good. Just tear out your team, because it's like, oh, let me just hit you twice... He's like, oh, I see you're faster. Uh, sucker punch twice. It's like, if I ever use power up punch, then it's game over. You just sucker punch them and then they die. Like, guaranteed. Unless they have Clef key. Unless you have Clef key. <laughs> Unless you have Clef key. <laughs> and if you're a true hardened bastard, you will have Mega Kangaskhan and Clef key. But, um. What else am I using? Uh, uh, yeah, Malamar. I, I I wanted to get to try to not use him, but then every time I didn't use him, I lost. <laughs> so, so, pretty much every time I use him, he does something useful. His stats aren't very good. He's like base eighty everything. He's very vanilla. Um, but I don't know. Like, if you are able to get a trick room up, then he can start a sweep pretty soon. Although it usually takes him two hits to kill anything. Unless they're weak to superpower, and a lot of things are still weak to fighting, so that's good. Um, yeah, I, I was using that uh, Gorgeist guy, and I really like him, but I swapped him out for Ferrothorn because hazards. Yeah, I mean, both of the Grass Ghosts seem not awesome. If, if I make a full Trick Room team, which I will... He's going to be on there, like, because I have so many Trick Room Pokemon EV trained, just because I like bulky, slow people. I just tend to like them better. I think Trevenant has a lot more potential than Gorgeist. Gorgeist uh, has more HP and defense. Well, and, Trevenant and, has good moves. And, and Harvest. And Harvest. Yeah, Trev Trevenant does have more things to play with, but I'm talking about Suicide Trick Lead with, oh, like, oh, life. I was just speaking well, in general. that's a very specific thing, yeah. <laughs> It's a very specific thing, but it's won me like three or four matches, so I feel like it's pretty good. So it's it's got like a trick room, seed bomb, a shadow sneak explosion. It's like max attack adamant, so shadow sneak will like two shot stuff. With the life orb, it's pretty good. Although most of the time I just use trick room and then die. <laughs> but that's kind of how trick room teams go. Um... Not sure. Uh, yeah, so I got Malamar, uh, Gengar. I don't know. I'll come back to it later. What's what's your team, Agritech? I'm gonna look at it right now. <laughs> uh, what? Look at oh, your. What's your team? Um. Well, my team started originally off as a uh, doubles team, but a lot mm -hmm. of them work as both doubles and not doubles. Pretty well, except okay. Togekiss, like her move set. Needs to be drastically yeah. changed because follow me, I can't do anything with it. Um, you so should it's, make another Togekiss. Oh, let's just you know, apparently, ask Matt how long it took to EV train Togepi. God, <laughs> Togepi is the worst. It's uh, so weak when you do the EV training thing. 
I guess I could do well, the horde battle. You give it no, no, no. Give it nutrients, then it hits harder. No, it doesn't hit hard. <laughs> even when I was almost maxed out, it's it's so weak. It's just naturally weak. I think could that's how you made all the babies. Because the the kind of soccer ball attack you get is random. Maybe you I just know. got a really bad one. It was I think no, it was it's, the normal one. I, I mean, it's just it's weak. It just mm. doesn't do much damage. Because I think because it's a baby. Like, you can tell. The stronger the Pokemon's overall base stats, the harder they hit for... You should evolve start. it first. And then... I didn't have any reset bags. And also, happiness evolving sucks. Mm. And I was doing it while Nick was at my house. So, I didn't <laughs> have a lot of time. Um, but anyway, so my team is uh, Togekiss... Um, Azumarill, Gengar, Breloom, Klefki, uh, Greninja, and there's one more. I'm going to have to go to my battle box because I don't remember. Oh, I remember what my last member is. Uh, mm -hmm. Noivern. Oh, right. I can never remember the last guy. It all drives me crazy. Well, apparently I'm having the same issue. Uh, yeah. Did I say Breloom? Yeah, you, yeah did. you said Breloom. So then that should be all six. Breloom oh, got checked you. hard. So yeah, he did. Greninja, I'm so Togekiss, glad. Togekiss, uh, Breloom, Azumarill, Gengar, and Klefki. Yeah. And I'm playing around with Tyrantrum. Tyrantrum so seems pretty though, good. That they're like, oh, Breloom is really annoying, so... We're going to give a lot more things immunity to that type of, you know, status just, inducer. Yeah, specifically and Breloom. And it doesn't matter. Because <laughs> now Clef Key's worse. Um, I mean, Breloom got hit the hardest, but it wasn't specifically Breloom. I mean, think about Rose Raid in the lower tiers was very similar. Rose Raid actually got better this game. Cause, uh, yeah, can use but not Sludge because Pump. it's... Not because of its status-inducing capabilities. Well, no, a, but, like, uh, you got a new resistance, so It gives you good. immunity to powders, which was not working on Pokemon Showdown last time I checked, because I had a Mamoswine who still got hit with Spore, even though he was wearing the safety goggles. Oh, yeah, that's why I kind of want to stick to Wi-Fi, just because the metagame is so new that battle simulators are going to do it wrong. <laughs> Like yeah, it's gonna take people a couple of years to get. I'll the take one match where I've learned that that's wrong, then twelve hours of training a Pokemon I realize is not very good. Well, uh, all the Pokemon that have let me down, I think I'll use them later in like lower tiers. So I think a lot of the Pokemon I picked are not going to be OU, uh, like Gorgeist and what have you, like Trevenant. I trained one of him too. Andy, yeah. Did you like my uh, Breloom's nickname? Uh, I can't remember what it was. It was Gobo Fraggle. I didn't get it. It's uh, Fraggle so. Rock. Oh, I, I assumed it was character. from. I assumed it was from Fraggle Rock, but I haven't really watched that. So. Oh, I used to watch it all the time when I was a kid. I need Miles? my for the pan from Homestar <laughs> Runner. Where's <laughs> the pan? <laughs> I just can't hear that without in being in Home Zero Runners with the mud pan. <laughs> <laughs> I also trained a Clefable for shits because Clefable's better. Does it still part normal type or is it pure fairy? No, it's it's pure fairy. I wish it was part normal. It'd be better. Why? It would just How would it be because it'd be it would be immune to ghosts for absolutely no reason. And neutral to fighting. Yeah. I'm neutral up to fighting, but you can kill it with moon blast, so it kind of doesn't matter. I, don't know, I guess fighting resistance is good, but I would trade a resistance for an immunity any day, just an extra immunity, because he'd be immune to no to ghost and dragon, like just for no reason. That's probably why he's not normal and fairy. <laughs> yeah. There's not a lot of ghosts though that couldn't kill it through other means. Not a lot of the Premier Ghosts, anyhow. Well, the Premier Ghost is still Gengar, and he has Sludge Bomb, so that's... But just Slash kills it, too, because it'll have Iron Head. Yeah. 
I guess. Those are the two big Actually, ghosts, Aegis Slash usually does not carry Iron Head. Um, it's like usually... Which, well, it depends <laughs> on if it's a sword, sword dancing or not. Yeah, it gets Sacred Sword. See, this is my point for um, why Fairy Types pissed me off so much. Because I knew that Seal Attacks still weren't going to be used. And the uh, the popular set is Sacred Sword, Sword Dance, uh, Shadow Sneak, mm -hmm. and King Shield. Either that or have a mix set with Shadow Ball, which works quite well. But none of but none of the popular sets run Iron Head, so you just wouldn't worry run, about it. I run HP Steel on my Greninja. HP Steel? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Why See, not? I want because it's terrible. Like, I watch people terrible. use Steel Wing. A steel Wing does, like, a fourth of their health bar. It's so weak. How, it's is, like, how is Hidden Power's deal on Greninja terrible? Uh, I think they're just better attacking types. It not only does it give, the me the, it gives me the, the coverage of Fairy, and it changes me to Steel type. Oh, changing me to Steel is a good, is a good thing. I forgot about Protein. Yeah, so don't Everybody forget. forgets about proteins. <clears throat> well, I wouldn't forget if I was facing one, battle. but... I forgot but. that my Greninja was Ice-type, and then got killed by a Talon Flame. <laughs> but I, I watched a battle where um, they had, like, a physically attacking one, and it had Shadow Sneak, so it could a spin block. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, Greninja is definitely um, slated for OU, there's no question about that. I'm not sure if he's going to make the cut yet. My he's he's going to be OU for a little bit at least, just because he's on every team. Like I, his... I think I just said in my most recent battle, if he's OU, he's going to be towards the bottom. He well, just probably. doesn't hit hard enough. No, he doesn't hit that hard, and he's super flimsy. Um, but he can change his types, and he can be a suicide lead. Which is another thing that reminds me of 4th Gen. This game just reminds me of 4th Gen, because, like, Focus Sash leads are now back in fashion. Yeah, Suicide leads are good again. Cause, because there's no... For all the lack of entry hazard users, there are even fewer viable spinners. So, Suicide leads are fine, because you're almost always going to get... Like, if you get that hazard up, chances are it's staying up. Oh, but Defog is a thing. I really, yeah, really, but... really, really, really want a Mandibuzz because it checks the crap out of Breloom again. <laughs> like, Defog is a thing, but everything that learns it is weak to entry hazards, weak to Stealth Rocks. So there's very few good users of it. I think it uh, Crobat will be... Crobat one is probably ones. one... Crobat and maybe Mandibuzz because Overcoat got boosted too. Yeah, so he can switch into Spores on Breloom. It gives they, it immunity to powders um, as well as weather, so he can switch into <laughs> spores. So I'm thinking Tranitar and Mandibuzz are going to be best friends, although they kind of conflict because Tranitar uses Stealth Rocks. That's his spinner. Yeah, most cases. Which Exadrill uh, is has been doing really well. Um, people have been using Mold Breaker so they can kill Levitate Gengar and Rotom. Yep, that's what I have on mine now. I was using Sandstream, but I barely ever actually, like, if, if Excadrill was in while the sand was actually still up, it was normally just because I wanted to spin, so yeah. I almost never took advantage of the speed boost, maybe one or two battles, so I ended up switching it out. Like, Excadrill is fine this gen. He's nowhere close to broken. Yeah, I was really sad he got banned, and they didn't give him a complex ban. Like, they gave Garchomp a complex <laughs> ban black and white just because they had a chubby for Garchomp but it's like they just threw Exadrill out the window which yeah. got, ri got rid of a really viable spinner for like the rest of the game 5th gen had a lot of decent spinners though so it was okay in the end it's the it's only good one is Starmie <laughs> it's Tentacles. really sad but true 5th <laughs> like gen? The, uh, any gen <laughs> Tentacle Starmie. was good Tentacle is good but he's slow but he's bulky. So is Starmie. <laughs> not as bulky as Tentacruel. And Tentacruel is not slow. It's base 100 speed. Oh, I keep forgetting it's base 100 speed. He's, well, he's I, a I never see the any. Slower, but slightly bulkier. 
I, n- I never ever see one with speed investment, and whenever I do, I get really surprised. But they're yeah. usually like HP and I don't special know defense. Any of the Pokemon's like base stats like this. I can't ever talk about like you know what I mean. I don't know. I know. <laughs> Tentacle was a really good spinner last gen, but it wasn't no, pretty much he and Starmie. He he probably will get better because Poison got buffed, and also this gen is like fourth gen, and Tentacle was really good in fourth gen. Anyhow, my team. I don't think we've gone over yet. I had two. The other one's still kind of a work in progress. So I'm using Klefki because. <laughs> so just went. Come right at away. me, bro. <laughs> uh, deals with like it's so hard to check all of the threats in this meta game. Like there's so many. There's 700, 800 things now. So it's so hard to have answers to everything, yeah. and that's why Klefki's like, oh. Well, I'll I'll do that for you. Oh, Whatever you need me to kill. Yep. Uh, just... hmm. Then I have Mega Absol as my cleaner to finish games and also block status if uh, depending on have <laughs> the skill level of my opponent. Because some people know how to play around Absol and some don't. So yeah, a lot of a lot of people have just sit in and let Absol crush them. That's yeah. like yeah. the only time I've gotten good things out of Absol uh, when people are stupid. But he's also a very good sweeper late game. He just comes in and finishes things up. But and you have to have stealth racks. <laughs> yeah, you, you need you need damage on the guys. That's why Otherwise, I said Otherwise, it won't work. Um, the set I'm running to catches a lot of people off guard because I have Fire Blast and Ice Beam and so they will switch in Gliscor into it and then die immediately. Yeah, um, that's what I run. I don't know what the standard set on it is, but I really like having Ice Beam on mine, so I'm keeping it. It's probably there probably isn't one, yeah. <laughs> so you're probably good to go. Uh, uh, I may end up replacing him if you know if he becomes standard. I think the the reason he's so good right now is because no one knows what he does. So you can catch someone off guard, and in this meta game, like if you if you miss that turn, that's it. Oh, by the way, did you ever find out that Absol can learn Play Rough? I did. But so that's um, kind of better than Megahorn, maybe. Yeah, it probably is. It's more accurate, at least. See, the problem with Absol and me, I feel like it needs five attacks in order to be good. <laughs> it definitely has four <laughs> minutes syndrome, but I've it's... been pretty happy with it. I guess if you come in as as a cleaner, then you can transform safely and just blast something. But I don't yep. have I don't use my Absol that way, so he just dies like a bitch like every yeah, time. you can't you can't lead with it. You can't use it early game. You have to save it until late, and then it just it ends the game for you. Um, Dragonite because multi scale Dragonite is still super good. Like, use Dragon's still rocks. really good. Yeah. Uh, and he gets Earthquake, which is means that he kills Aegislash without getting his attack lowered. And you could always um you could always use uh like a baton passer. Why? To get him faster. I don't care if he's fast. He's massively bulky and he has Dragon Dance. Oh I was talking about sorry, Absol. Oh. Oh, Absol's plenty fast. Yeah, he's it's just that he doesn't hit hard enough. Well, I mean, you could do either. Then, I mean, I'm just saying he could if you. Yeah, um, he would be a good recipient for is some kind of baton pass. Just kind of gimmicky, though. It it definitely could work, but I have not had very much success use, with making use, a baton um, pass team that's consistent. What's his name? Scolipede. <laughs> I tried using Scolipede, and he didn't really work that well. Especially since Talonflame is on every team. Yeah. Maybe after the new guys, the old guys show up. I if that was a good idea. It's a, it, it's a pretty good idea, but it's... the It only worked once for me, and the match DC'd, so... Yeah, I just... <laughs> I, never got anywhere. I've never been a big fan of Baton Pass. I tried it in Gen 4 and Gen 5, and it's just not very consistent. Like, when it works, it's a complete blowout, but... When yeah. it does, it's a waste of time. That's and how I always felt about those uh, ninjask teams. Yeah, 
That, mm-hmm. that was like the epitome of it in fourth. N- Ninjask gets defog. I just want to let you know that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> He doesn't also really have takes fifty percent damage from stealth rocks. So this has been a Robotnik is sexy <laughs> announcement. Actually, Glissor also gets defog and is not weak to stealth rocks. Very good. How does Glissor get defog? Import from fourth gen. Ha! Uh, he doesn't get it yet. He will get it. Uh, I can see if you like... want to spend like so much time. I don't know. I, I just I can't be ours for that. If it's, sure. if it's the best set, then people will do it to get him over. I mean, there's some sets that you have to go all the way back to, like, Coliseum to get certain moves. Yeah. Like what? Uh, Wish, Blissey. There's, uh, I think that's, for a long time, that's the only place that the EV guys could learn heal well until they added it later somewhere else. Like, black and white too. Yeah. Yeah. They've slowly started like phasing that stuff out and putting in tutors that let you get it elsewhere. But there were some yeah. guys could only get certain moves from third gen. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I have Tyranitar. So like we talked about, only good stealth rock user right now. Uh, Sandstream just for the special defense boost. I'm not. He doesn't even have the. Um, I gave Omega. him the smooth stone for a while, but I took it back and gave him leftovers because I don't care about sand at all on my team. He's literally only there for stealth rocks. And then pursuit X-Kill kills to swing. Yeah, pursuit kills is good too. X Ex- Excadrill to spin, and uh, sub disable Gengar, who is still really good. Yeah, I need to um, breed to get that. Yeah, I think he might be even better than last gen, just because a lot of people expect Mega Gengar. So they play around Mega Gengar, and then it it messes them up when that's not what it is. (laughs) So it's nice that Gengar has a really viable second set, so you can't be sure which one it is. Yeah, he has a lot of sets now. Um, cause he, he had the pain split set. Mm-hmm. There's just a lot of stuff you can do with him. And because Ghost and Poison is really good coverage now, you just need that and then you're good. Yeah, it's still, he has trouble with some stuff though, still. Like, like the like, Renatar. He does oh. miss that fighting coverage sometimes. I mean, I am running the sludge bomb over the focus blast but I, I definitely still miss focus blast from What's time to time your, yeah. oh yeah and you're in two ticks so like sub disable you know, shot. mine's like mine Sorry. is currently protect but if I start doing singles I'm gonna switch protect to uh substitute um but in doubles protect is just better you're running yeah. mega gengar right yeah but um I do shadow ball dazzling gleam now yeah, Dazzling Gleam is what you needed to get that 6-0. <laughs> and uh, and uh, Sludge Bomb. I was yeah. running Thunderbolt, but... It's not yeah, that good. Yeah, Thunderbolt's not that good on Gengar. Like, it was in, like, Red and Blue, uh, but it, not Oh, anymore. even 4th Gen, it was really good, because Gyarados was so much more prevalent, but it doesn't have that much use. But like Dazzling Gleam would not really help against Tyranitar. Mm-hmm. It's basically yeah. a focus blast with better accuracy and less power. It's not a focus blast, though. Not against <laughs> Isn't Tyranitar. Isn't like everything that focus blast is? Tyranitar is quad weak to focus blast. No, but, but I'm saying it, it's super effective hits a lot of the same things that focus blast does. So, Dark. it's like focus blast in that I way. mean, it's definitely better. I'd rather have that than focus blast because it actually hits all the time. It's to just missing and then killing you, so... Although, having said that, I th- I'm pretty sure Tranitar can take a Dazzling Gleam, probably oh, two of them. Yeah, it so it's... Up. So, so, Focus Blast is still better for Tranitar, because it right. will kill the bastard, but you have to risk the accuracy. And you you have to lose half of the games because you miss, so... so like, yeah. Technically, it should only be 30%. What, Focus Blast? Yeah, you, it's... Oh, yeah, but it's... <laughs> I know. 
I was just exaggerating. I know. All right, so, it doesn't ever feel like it's 30%. No. I missed five in a row uh, in the battle. Battle Mejon. Uh, Mejon. I looked it up and that means house. That's nice. Like battle house. Just in but case you then I brought Klefki and I got like 700 points, so I don't have to go back in there anymore. Does Klefki just kill everything? Yeah, there, they don't dude. know how to deal with it. Oh, did oh, you guys so ever watch sad. my videos? I I never did. Thing? Nope. I'm going to I'm going to assume you won though. Yeah, we won our first round. That's we cool. We made a really bad tactical error. And by tactical oh, yeah. error, I for some reason and this was probably because I was outrageously sick, <laughs> I thought that when it said status moves on age slash it meant like stuff like that cause status. <laughs> uh huh. So we, we ended up putting an assault vest on it and we couldn't use it. Uh, like the first match we brought him and he just he didn't do anything. He Yeah. I mean he he just he attacked, but he yeah. didn't like he didn't stay, he didn't last very long. Yeah. <laughs> and uh but uh I honestly don't remember exactly how every match went. We lost the first one. It was pretty close, it was like two to uh, oh, you know, or three to oh, or something like that. Out of was it like, best of best of three? Yeah, best, so it was. But games. it's like multi battle is like each person brings three Pokemon, so it's a total six. Uh-huh. Um, uh huh. Um. So we lost the first one. The second one, we led with. Uh, I led. I led with my um, Togekiss, and he led mm -hmm. with his Mega Alakazam, which was awesome. Because he, he uh, did, um, what's his name? He brought, the other team brought Mawile. Oh, which yeah. Which was a huge threat to my team. Um, but I followed Mead. Um, they fake out, they fake outed Alakazam. Which yeah. kind of sucked because it broke his, uh, or it didn't break his sash because he didn't have one. But uh, he, you know, it's it didn't, we which didn't did. get to attack. Yeah. And then, um he sucker punched, but it failed. Because of the follow me, yeah. yeah. And so then, follow me and rage powder, it just really didn't. So then, it sucks that it was nerfed, but uh, cause, like it doesn't get fake out anymore. Right. But does it not? Nope. Fake out mm. has pr more priority now. Oh okay. Um. But anyway, then he like I was like I was pretty sure that he he would think that I would follow me again, so that Alakazam would get you know a free attack. Mm hmm Um. So I protected. He focus blasted um, Mawile. It crit, it crit killed it, and the other person attacked me. And so, like Alakazam, basically got a free attack. Yeah, again. So we took out like Alakazam took out a good two or three guys, uh -huh. and I was just annoying the crap out of them with Tokus, <laughs> which is what he was supposed to do. And it, it was the second game was. You know, it was pretty in our favor um, until the end. I don't know. Some stuff happened, and we, you know, it started getting kind of close, but we came uh -huh. out. The last game um, got pretty close, but then, like, I had him down to, like, two guys, and I still had three, and so it just ended up being, like, he couldn't, he couldn't uh, take my guy out. Yeah. So we won who won. So that was, it was pretty cool. Next round is supposed to happen this week sometime. The only thing that, and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if you're listening to it, but if, uh, if you hear me, teammate, um, your guys need better natures. <laughs> like he didn't train for his natures or anything, and oh yeah. But I mean, it's not like a big deal. It's just a fun tournament. Yeah. But still, would have kind of been nice to have that extra mm. bulk or well, attack. If it costs you the match, then it kind of matters. <clears throat> But not, I'm guessing that hasn't happened yet because you're winning. Not in the grand scheme of things, <laughs> though, because it's just a it's just a fun little tournament. It doesn't really mean anything. Are there any prizes, or is no, it just? No, it's just for fun. The prize is winning. <laughs> yep. Is being a winner. You're a winner. We made it past the first round, which is you know that's something. <laughs> that's good.
That is indeed something. Right. So, maybe we should. Oh. Who haven't we talked about yet? New guys. Oh, I just want to oh, bring up. Oh, will you go, Agritech? I was just gonna say the other the other annoying thing for my team, I forgot uh -huh. about it, is freaking Gudra. <laughs> I freaking hate that thing because a lot of my and I am realizing this a lot of my team is special attackers. Oh yeah. Like I have Greninja, Togekiss. Well, it's about half and half. Togekiss uh, and uh, uh, Gengar, but then I have. Uh, I guess I just played it wrong because I didn't mm -hmm. bring in Azumarill. Yeah. And I think Azumarill either he was either dead or something. But he, you know, if he played rough, it probably would have killed it. Oh yeah, it definitely. But does. It, it, it just. I think it was late game and he was dead, and I couldn't. I just couldn't get over it. Like. Mm -hmm. I ice beamed it. I got a crit, and it did. It got it down to like low yellow, and then I brought in um, Gengar and like Shadow Ball, it, hoping for the def special defense drop, and I got it. And then I special, you know, I I couldn't. Yeah. I just couldn't. It didn't matter. It killed Gengar, and then all I had left was Togekiss, and there was no way Togekiss was gonna be able to kill it. Yeah. What about fairy moves? The only one I have is I didn't have. Uh, Dazzling He's running a support set. Yeah. Okay, well, we should change that. But it was for doubles. No, it wasn't. Oh. It was, no, this was a singles game. Oh, okay. His yeah. Dazzling Gleam should be on Togekiss and Gengar, in my opinion. Well, my Togekiss, Togekiss is last, doesn't it? I think so, yeah. No, it doesn't. It doesn't? Oh. I wish it did, because then it would drop special attack every time you used it. Mine. Just gets the dazzling gleam. I also really want to try out um, Mega uh, Medicham. Yeah, he looks fun. Uh, with with Sticky Web, you will basically crush their hopes and dreams. Cause like f f you just Mega Evolve, Fake Out, and that's a free Mega Evolution. Yeah, yeah. That I really like how uh, how um, Medicham can do that. The speed only gets to 100 though, so uh, you'll need the sticky web. It's not bad though, and then you can he can bulk up. He can. Uh, he, can <laughs> he really line. doesn't need. I'm just doesn't saying need he to bulk could, up. but he could. <laughs> <laughs> How much attack does he have? He has a ludicrous amount of attack. Uh, it's not he really, as much as while, but you can high jump kick any kill anything in the game with with uh, Mega Metacham. I'm actually really doing dream punch. Drain Punch would work. I mean, could doing, you bulk up Drain Punch? I'm doing Drain Punch, uh, either Zen Headbutt or Psycho Cut. I think I might do Psycho Cut because if I hit, if I get switched in on a King Shield or something, mm. and I don't want to lose that, you know, attack. And it Psycho also Cut doesn't, doesn't make direct nope. punch. Oh, that's nice. Um, and then Fire Punch or something like that. Fire, yeah, it gets all the punches. Psycho Cut might be good, like you said, since it's long range. Gets ice uh, although, I think uh, the sword guy kind of screws him over either way, because he's still weak to Ghost. Uh, Metacham is. So. Yeah, but if you bulk up... Uh, I don't know. I think he's still I don't know might. If it's a, or not. Maybe. Let me, I'm trying to find him. Wait, I'm in, why am I in Johto? So, yeah, let's talk about Aegislash for a little bit. We've mentioned him a lot, but... Aegislash... He's one of the staples. He's on every team. With yeah, I, I think his usage <laughs> will probably drop some, you know, after he's not as new. But I do. I think he might be OU. He seems he's, like he could be. Yeah, I th he'll be OU for a little bit. And he might stay OU. Um, he's extreme. I mean, the thing about Aegislash is, in his def he gets two forms. One is defense form. One is attack form. And uh, in defense form, he has 150 for both defenses, so he can just sword dance all day, and you can't do anything about it. Yeah. And then you shadow sneak, or you sh or the mixed set one seems better in my opinion, since you can take <coughs> down Scar with Shadow Ball and stuff. I I like I like the standard set I think the most because you're you never have to take a hit in an attack form ever with that. Like, yeah. I like the Sword Stance, King Shield, uh, Shadow Sneak. Well, I think the mixed uh, uh, 
version sacred. still has King Shield. Sacred Sword. And actually attacking last with Aegislash is really good because it means that they don't get to hit your attack form. Yep. So Shadow Sneak uh, is kind of easily like replaced Shadow with Sneak Shadow Ball. Just because it is nice to kill them sometimes before you take a hit. Because even though he's so bulky, he doesn't have any recovery. So if you can take them out before you get hit, it makes them even harder what to item do. Are you? What do you uh, use? Leftovers. Mm -hmm. Usually he has leftovers. Oh, um, we we never we didn't talk about weakness policy Dragonite and how it's a thing. Yeah, it, it's pretty good because <laughs> uh, all you need is a defogger or something to get head hazards down, and his multi scale will be up forever. And it's like, hey, you want to use ice beam? Give me a free plus two plus two. Thanks for that. And then, like, Dragon Dance on top, and then you're, like, you good to go grocery. Yeah. Um, yeah, Dragonite's going to be really good still, because multi It's going to be better. Good. It is going to be better, especially once it gets uh, extreme speed back. Oh, but we uh, we really, because really need to... Because then it kills Talonflame, too. Does it not have it currently? No. I could have sworn I saw... I guess it doesn't have it currently. I think it does. <clears throat> anyway, um, all this metagame uh, talk we're talking about is going to be kind of irrelevant come December, because the metagame is going to just explode. Like, everything that we know uh, will change. So, I think that's an important point to make. Because yeah. the metagame that we're playing in only has, like, 100 Pokemon or something. So, it's much it's smaller. than that. It's something well, like that. Yeah, but viable ones, much less than 100. Oh, yeah, but I'm talking about the Kalos Pokemon. You can't really catch that many right now, and that's yeah. what the metagame consists of. I mean, there are other Pokemon thrown in with the Kalos Pokemon, but it's not a lot. Um, well, but there's, the there's still a lot. Fred Safari, though, it does make it quite a bit bigger. Oh, and, uh, well, well, we still have Aegislash in our minds. Um, I don't know where Quagsire completely stops it. <laughs> and it's amazing. I'm going to have to get one. So does, uh, so does Bisharp. And Gliscor. Defiant Bisharp. Yeah. yeah, Defiant Bisharp, what Malamar does to an Malamar extent. Malamar does too. I've taken down a couple Aegislash with Malamar. Yeah. Because um, it's really weird, but Malamar can actually just switch right into Aegislash and not be threatened at all. Because um, they're just going to go for Sword Dance, pretty much. Will it survive a plus two ghost attack? Yeah, it does. It's bulky. It's 80 everything, pretty much. I think its HP is like 90 something. I'm not sure. I but, think the yeah. main thing we're going to get come December, those actually moves. Like, there's... Friend Safari opened up... There's quite a lot of Pokemon that you can get that you can't actually catch in-game thanks to Friend Safari, but... Yeah, it's so the good. The move Riot is so limited right now. Yeah. I think that had the biggest change. And Heatran and Terrakion. Yeah. It, oh, oh, yeah. The, the Legends <laughs> are going to be big, obviously, when they come over. Yeah, Heatran is just going to crush everything. And Terrakion and Landris is going to show up and be like, hey, I set up rocks. Terrakion. Get out. I think the, I think the arrow Terrakion is gone, actually. He doesn't seem quite as good. Because they they introduced so many Pokemon weakness. that are faster than and Terrakion. And Azumarill is going to be around. Yeah, yeah. Azumarill checks him pretty hard. Yeah, and let's let's talk about that Frill Lizard who pisses me off. <laughs> He's Weather, he? weather he? Lizard. He's two points faster than Trachyon and gets Surf. Yeah. So, good game. Like, it's ridiculous. It's like they put Jolteon and Lantern together and said go. Because <laughs> yeah. it's, special, it's special bulky, too. The thing just it is. It's me very fast. specially bulky. It's, I was surprised how good it was. And Actually, it's super fast. I, it, I didn't and know what it did. And it just wrecked me. I mean, I'm kind of glad that all the XY Pokemon are super powerful. Uh, with some exceptions, uh, not but always. like 
A few of almost, them. Almost all of them, because there are only 70 of them about, so... Yeah, Who, that's... though? Almost all of them? That is a very big statement to make, sir. <laughs> it is a big statement to make, but just look at all these final evils. They're all really good. Like, Claw Itzer is really good. No, he's um, not, though. He's got a high <laughs> attack, but then he just... He he's dies. He's... Better than Mega Blastoise, I think, because he can actually use items. He has the same ability as Mega Blastoise, so he can just hit you for insane Mega... damage. Okay, Mega Blastoise is not good though either. He's all right. He's but all right. I mean, what's your definition of good? A Pokemon that can actually do things. <laughs> Are you talking about in OU or just? No, I'm not talking about OU specifically. Well, that's all right. That's different because everything's good somewhere. No, so, there are some Pokemon that are good nowhere. <laughs> well, with the exceptions of like Wormadan and a few. Wormadan's others. actually really good in <laughs> you. All right, I hate that. Yes, Andy, by your definition, everything is good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm just saying a majority of the final Evos are really excellent. You know what uh, I wish happened? No. I wish no. that Vespaquen got fairy. I wish Vespaquen uh, got more moves. Bug Fairy would be decent typing. Yeah, the, see, that's... I don't know. You see, uh, th this is... Uh, and Vespaquen isn't like... It, it's like nobody <laughs> uses it. <laughs> for, for, as, for as down as I... For as, as anti-fairy as I am, I really wish they made more fairy types. Um, but at the same time, I know that they will later. But there are so many fairy type combinations that are just not used uh, in the game yet, and it kind of drives me a little wild. Well, they couldn't do them all. Yeah, I guess not. At the but... first time, is you it... know, then there's nothing to look forward to. Is it possible that some of the Pokemon that are in the that haven't been able to be transferred yet will be have fairy typing? Um. They, I about? think they figured it all out because they've hacked it. They've hacked the game and looked at everything, so we'd know. Also, uh, I, th I think an interesting point to bring up is the fact that Mega Evolutions could just never stop. Like because they're just hold items, uh, they could just have events for Pokemon to be Mega. And but this, they, they have to be programmed in there. Into the they game. do have to be programmed. They in can there. do updates though. Yeah, yeah, they can do updates though. So they could update a new because mega. Because it's on just... the 3DS, they can update the. They can update it, like. Yeah. Like yeah, they could Xbox just thing. make new mega Pokemon at any time, and I'm very, very sure they're going to do that. Yeah, I mean they've already found Mega Latios and Mega Latias do, is in the game. Different? Do they look and the I... exact same? Yeah, they no. do look. The Why? Exact same. That's stupid. Wait, uh, wait. I thought there was only a Mega Latios. Is there a Latias Mega? It looks the same. It, it looks the same. Yeah. Oh, okay. Which is weird. Does Maybe it was sense? something with the way they it, hacked it that it, it was weird. I don't know. I think it makes sense because the Mega Latios us is purple and one of them is blue and one of them is yeah, red. So they, they just become, turn into the same thing. Yeah, they just turn into the same thing. So that kind of makes sense. But um. Yeah, it's a giant airplane. Yeah, <laughs> like a lot of the Megas. So that has me excited. Uh, also, Tropy is turning into a train or something. I bet. <laughs> I bet everyone here in Nickel, they're gonna make Pokemon Z or whatever, and then they're gonna be like, "Hey, new Megas." That's like saying, "Hey, I bet everyone in Nickel that next month it'll be December." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I guess so, but it's like, <laughs> it's like if they make a remake of X and Y, which is highly likely, they're just gonna like pour in new megas. Yeah. I'm still kind of upset that uh, uh, Swampert and Septile didn't get yeah. megas, because like, they why will. preferential they, they treatment? They probably will. They they will later in Pokemon Z or something. Yeah, I don't know why Blaziken got preferential achievement, but because that's another Blaziken one who is not that great. Um, another one Surprising. that's checked by Azumarill. 
Uh, Azumarill and that stupid bird both kill it. And Talonflame. Kill it in yep. one hit. That's it's the priority. one. Yep. And Klefki. And Klefki. <laughs> <laughs> Although it's kind of dangerous because it'll... Yeah, it might kill the Klefki, but it also just destroys Blaziken and everything that I never hoped to do. Yeah, so, and it's worth it. Thunder away the Blaziken. What is it going to do? Yeah. They can still Nothing. kill you, though. Yeah, but yeah. I'm just yeah, I'm just saying you severely it. neuter it. One, I'll make that trade. Yeah, I'm really amazed at how Blaziken seems a lot weaker. Yeah. <laughs> like in fifth gen, that guy was a threat, and he was banned super hard and super fast. But yeah, because I, See, I actually had what I was using one on my second team, and it it wasn't that great. It was okay. <sighs> That's kind of what I'm saying with the um, how many how the X Y Pokemon are so good. Like who who thought Talonflame, the leading bird Pidgey, was going to be like a huge sweeper threat? Like, well, it's it also because just... we don't have Stealth Rocks again. Well, we do have Stealth Rocks. It's just people mm -hmm. aren't bringing Stealth Rocks. Well, because we have one good person that uses them. Yeah. Well, if Stealth Rock was a TM. It's not. Then yeah. I mean, they I think to... once, once everyone gets Stealth Rocks back, Talonflame's not going to be nearly as good as it is. It'll yeah, probably. Sure. It might. I don't know if it'll still be OU or not because it they is have, does get priority uh, roost. So. It has a really good niche, so it's yeah, going to be good yeah. somewhere. Priority Brave Bird is not something to scoff at. Or acrobatics. Uh, but it's not going to be nearly as widespread as yeah. it is now. We've been talking for about an hour. All right. Yeah. Well, let's we can go a little bit longer. Go on. An hour and two minutes. We haven't, we haven't talked yet. Just, I'm just letting you know what, how, All right. how long. Yeah, I, I've seen it. Let's talk about Gudra. What do you guys think? <laughs> Salt Vest Gudra. Yeah. GG. <laughs> it's weak on uh, the defense side. To, Tried to hurt me. Well, that's why you give it impish. Uh, you give it a, a defensive nature. Defense, defensive nature, and then give it a salt vest, and, and then split EVs. Yeah, but if you give it all defense EVs, then it won't be able to hit anything. Split, def split defense and then attack. Mine, uh, the one I was using, I had I had modest <laughs> with uh, two fifty two special attack, two fifty two defense, assault vest, and it was pretty good. Oh, okay. I could see that working. It just feels really weird not investing in HP while having an Assault Vest, but I guess with special defense levels like that, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, it definitely... There's probably a better way to split them up, but it's you can build it to just tank for days. We didn't talk about how Sticky Web is going to change everything in the world. Um, I'm, not, I'm not actually convinced it will, actually. I don't think it will either. A lot of people are saying it's overpowered and should be banned. <laughs> what? Gudra? Sticky web. Oh, sticky web. No, sticky I, web. I, I think it's because a lot of, like, for one, it doesn't hit flyers or levitators. Yeah, and that's, like, all of the OU Pokemon. That's OU, yes. Yeah. yeah. In lower tiers, whoa, oh, that's yeah. where it's going to be good. And if Galvantula is UU, he's going to be... I, I wouldn't be surprised to see him maybe get bumped up <coughs> Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he started OU just because he is on a lot of Oh, yeah, of I'm, sure, I'm sure he'll start OU. I don't know how long he'll stick around, though. Also, um, that uh, that Bug Grass Black and White guy gets Sticky Web as well. Bug Grass? Oh. Black uh, and White. The, uh, the Levani. Thing? Yeah. No, Levani. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. Levani. 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 It can also use dual screen. So dual screen sticky web. I kinda wanna get mid. And you can you can get um uh, light clay in this game. You have to use Thief on Galette. Too bad uh too bad Klefki doesn't get sticky web. It doesn't no. need it. <laughs> Klefki doesn't need entry hazards, it just wins on its own. See, that's the th that just goes back to me being pissed off at fairy typing, because fairy types just makes steel types type. better. No, it is. Its typing is incredibly good. Steel Fairy is weak to nothing in the game. 
It's fire, weak. It's, ground. It's, that's it. Times one fire, times one ground. That's it. You mean times two? Well, times two, yeah, whatever. It's, I don't know. They did nerf steel, so... You, no, steel's glad... way better, I think, than well, it was. No, first. specifically they nerfed it by getting rid of two of its resistances, but steel is still on top of the world. So, like, the, the basically they nerfed Metagross and Jirachi. They're the two that are going to miss it. A lot of the others, it's fine. Like, it yeah. won't affect them that much. And steel is is really good when paired with fairy. Yeah, that's yeah. Steel and fairy defense team up is good. Actually, uh, mm-hmm. steel and dragon are a really good defense team up. Well, that's uh, always been the case. That should be. A but it's even team. it's even better now um, because of fairies. Because fairies can't hit steel like at all. Yeah. So. The synergy between them has only been improved. Yeah, I mean, Steel's... Even though technically it got a little weaker, I think the way that the metagame changed around it actually made it stronger than it was before. So I'm thinking Gudra, Ferrothorn, and just destroy the world. Uh, it's, they're very easy. Those guys are very easy to set up on, though. You have to watch out for that. Like, if I... Better bring Magnazone, because if I saw that, I'd be like, oh, so Clef Key shits all over this team. I would bring Magnazone. <laughs> I'd bring Magnazone everywhere, just because Clef Key is always in the back of my mind, yeah. waiting. Excadrill is another very uh, good check to it. Swagger kills itself. <laughs> yeah, if you don't get Swagger. <laughs> its attack yeah, stat is so said. high. <clears throat> I mean, Foul check. Play does, like, 90%. Especially now that it doesn't resist it. That's yeah. why I said check. Check. Because you only... I mean, they can't paralyze you. Yeah, yeah. anything that cannot be paralyzed... So uh, they have to go it's... for the swagger, and if you hit through it, that's it. it, was, it that's it. A, and swagger is only 90% accuracy, which means yeah. it's going to let down sooner or later. Yeah. So that's so, good. Like I said, Klefki has no counters. It has checks. But we should um, bring up the fact that the most popular Klefki set does not use swagger. Um, What's the most popular? The most popular is uh, Thunder Wave Substitute, Foul Play, and Spikes. That's you the sure one about I'm, that? Yeah, I'm sure. I've seen the Swagger set way more than the other one. Yeah, but that's for sure. On showdown. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm always wary of that one. I mean, I because I was running the Spike set um, at first, and I never used Spikes. So I put substitute, and the set immediately improved. <laughs> yeah. It's be- once he's behind the sub, it's almost yeah. It's really over. hard to get. It. This, the sub is the thing that lets him take down his check so well. Yeah, it's really crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Clef key the show. <laughs> uh, any other? And mine is named Vince Clo- Clortho. I don't get that, but it sounds because cool. Because he's the key master in Ghostbusters. Oh, that's really uh, that's really clever. I na- I nicknamed mine Key to My Heart because he's a little heart symbol. <laughs> oh, uh, Sylveon is pretty good. This uh, Silveron, Sylveon is kind of overrated. I, I still think Umbreon is better. It's no way. Bulky, isn't it? Pure fairy it's... typing is way better than pure dark. Yeah, but his defense is low, and his HP is low, and Umbreon has good defenses in both both defense but, and special defense. Uh, Sylveon checks Scissor. You can, if their choice... Uh, what? You can no. switch the U-turn. Yeah, but... Sylve- switch... Sylveon's weak to bullet punch. Yeah. Good game. Yeah, but you don't bring it in on bullet punch. Like you yeah, can, but, it can you can use it. It resists one of Scissor's attacks. I don't know. I think it's way better than Umbreon. I would never Dark typing bring is terrible Sylveon. for um, defensive type. I would never bring Sylveon on um, Scissor. That would that's a scary thing to do. You you would have to know you would have to know 100 percent they're going for U turn yeah. in order to do that. But like, um, how is Dark typing a better defensive type than Fairy though? It's not, but his defenses so, HP are better. 
and those stats. Yeah, but it, can't it be. dies to everything in OU, and Sylveon doesn't. Yeah. Sylveon is very bulky still, and it can actually attack. It poses a threat as well. It's I type it's better, more... and it poses a threat. That's why I think it's better than Umbreon. And Umbreon's my favorite Pokemon, but there's no... Uh, like, Sylveon just outclasses Umbreon completely. Yeah, they're both really good. But, yeah. Um, when I... Th uh, I have to admit, when I think of Umbreon, I think of UU Immortal Umbreon. Yeah. And not OU. I mean, uh, Sylveon might still end up in UU. I'm not sure yet, but it's I'd say it's the best of the pure fairy types. Probably. Guys... Actually, I think the best fairy is Azumarill. Like, I said I... pure fairy types. <laughs> because I agree, Azumarill's better. It doesn't make... Well, pure fairy. Well, they're well like because pure... <laughs> pure fairy is a very strong defensive typing. If you're bulky, because you have very few relevant weaknesses. Yeah, I was really, in uh, one of our past podcasts, I was really uh, afraid that there were going to be bulky fairies, because they would yeah. just be invincible. Right. Because so they, right. they, they get bullshit weaknesses. Right. That's exactly what I was saying. That's why pure fairy is relevant. Yeah. I still think you can take him down, though. No, I'm not saying he's broken. I'm just saying he's pretty good just because he is a bulky pure fairy type that's all he needs the fact that he has decent move pool is icing on the cake i guess if you maxed out his defense then he would be quite quite bulky uh, i mean he gets screens he gets calm mind he gets draining kiss draining kiss is something i want to play with because it gives you 70 percent or 75 percent healing yeah. yeah which is insane What's damage though 50 or something like that 650 no it's 50 is it 50 it's 50 but it really doesn't matter because you heal like all of your health. <laughs> like it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's really good on bulky set. Yeah, I'm, I really want to. I really want to make an aromatisse with calm mind and drain kiss. Just and use Sylveon. But Sylveon isn't as bulky as aromatisse. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> sure. Yeah, it's it's 101 HP. That's a lot of HP. Sylveon only gets like 70 or something. I'm pretty sure Sylveon has 90 base HP. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look them up right now. right now. Yep. Uh, Sylveon is 95 HP. That's pretty damn bulky. And 130 special defense. Okay, that's more HP than I thought it had. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still want to use Aromatisse, though. Aromatisse? Because... It can learn Trick Room, and I like Trick Room. 101 <laughs> and 89 Special Defense. So, yeah, Sylveon is probably bulkier. Well, if you average usually, the numbers. Yeah. Usually well, higher HP means more bulky. But, yeah, they're both really bulky. They're bulky. They're hard-bodied. He is pretty, pretty close to the same, and 130 it's, is way <laughs> bigger. Yeah, but his defense is higher, I think. Maybe. Uh, I'm 72 sure. to uh, 65. So, no. What? Sylveon is just better. No, Sylveon's a 65. Oh, Sylveon is 65. See that? You can knock him out with those attacks. Yeah, so yeah, they're... Peaks will survive with his much with his vastly superior time. 72. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, we'll if you're using Trick Room, I'll give it to you. I also Only think that guy is better is better in doubles than um, than um, Sylveon. But yeah, they're pretty damn similar. What does it get in doubles? It gets Healer, which just I think it has a thirty percent chance of healing status moves just on your team. At the end of the turn, yeah. Which is pretty good. There's no use in singles though. But Trick Room support is pretty good. No use in a beauty contest either. I don't think there are beauty contests. There were. In 4th gen. 4th gen. <laughs> well, not in this one. Good. Right. <laughs> is that yeah. everyone we need to talk about? I'm sure we're over Let me see. Now. 
Oh, we're way over time, but I want to... We, wanna... we haven't even talked about half of the Megas, but we'll have to save that for a different time. Do we have to save it for a different time? Uh, I don't know Is if there's there any a... new guys we really need to talk about. There are only, Before like, go. three good Megas. Before we go... That's not true. Before we go... No, it's true. No, it's not. Aerodactyl's pretty good. No, he's not. <laughs> yeah, he Gardevoir is pretty good. Gardevoir is terrible. <laughs> Gardevoir is good. Gardevoir is, is trash. You're, I'm not saying you didn't even know what your EVs on your Absol were. So every time yeah, you my, say something's bad, I take that with a grain. My Gardevoir also, was you just down. called Mega Gardevoir terrible, and earlier you said Wormadan was really good. So, <laughs> and you and Jen. But I'm. I just want to tell you a story. My Gardevoir was taken down by a Walrin. So goodbye, Gardevoir. You're never being used again. Yeah, I had a bad. That was a Wormadan man. Would have tanked that Walrin all day. <laughs> <laughs> what, okay, before we go though, everyone, I'm I'm going back to aesthetics just for one question. Okay. Favorite Mega Evolution. Out of all of them. Uh, probably Mawile. Yeah, I'd have to go with Mawile just because it's everyone wanted Mawile and then they got Mawile and then he looked really good Mine's and good. is good in the game. Mine's Bennett. Bennett's pretty cool. Yeah. Houndoom is pretty cool too, but I like Mawile the best. Hmm. And with that, time to wrap things up. So thanks for listening. If you guys made it the whole way through this and listened to us argue, it's always fun. Yes. Uh, I listened to uh, argue too. We'll probably get a... You two were arguing earlier about something. I don't remember. Oh. I'll, uh, we'll try and get another episode up next month. Might be tricky just because it's December and Christmas things. But Happy we'll times. Maybe we'll... we'll talk about the megas that we missed and see if there's any new <laughs> info there's seriously only like three or four good megas <laughs> no. next time Andy next, next okay. time, next time. save your, your rage 100 speed is not fast enough it will not save you um, we, we and, were talking about yeah <laughs> Check out, Check our, out channels. our channels. Comment and subscribe to them. Comment on someone's version of this so we yeah. can read comments. We all love reading comments. In the comments, tell us what your favorite Mega Evolution is. There you is. go. We need a yeah. question. Hey. We should have done that like at the beginning. The beginning. <laughs> so tell us what your favorite Mega Evolution is and why. And uh, maybe we'll go over some of them in the next episode. Prove Thanks Andy wrong no, in the I'm comments right. that there are more than three... No. Use a full mega evolution. Mega Kangaskhan. And please mega tell him Wormadon is not mega. good. <laughs> it's good in 5th gen NU. Specifically. <laughs> it's like, I hate Wormadam so much. It works three moves. Does it even it, get a fourth move? It doesn't matter. It's, <laughs> it's typing. It's, it's and we're done. <laughs>